Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. Good morning. What's up guys, it's Romy, and today we are back with a brand new video. I'm here today with Ellie. We are gonna be doing the top 10 sneakers of 2021. So basically, I thought this year was a good year of releases, you know, me and Ellie picked some stuff up, we didn't pick some stuff up that we wanted. Me and Ellie both made our own list. I told Ellie to go in a room, make her top 10 of 2021. I sat in my room and made mine, so this is a complete surprise. So we're gonna kinda like, not battle, but we're gonna kinda go over our list, and we're gonna go through, this is obviously, our opinion this isn't from complex this isn't data this isn't factual like top 10 of 2021 this is my opinion this is her opinion so let us know what you guys think um if we were way off you guys think was sneaker of the year in the comments below if you guys are not already subscribed make sure to subscribe and like the video if you want to see more content with that being said let's get started we're gonna start at number 10 are you know first and then we're gonna pop them at the same time and then we'll say we'll talk about it I don't number 10 Mine is the Yeezy Pure Slides. Mine is the Pat Bread ones. I personally don't know yet if I want to get them or not. Because I do just want like, an actual pair of breads, not the patent ones. So I'm back and forth between them. I know they're going to be a really hyped shoe. I know everybody's going to want them. I've seen them in person so far and I, I like them. I feel like I'd rather get an OG Why not bread. have both? I guess I could get both, but that's why I ranked it 10. Like It's definitely in top 10 of the year, obviously. But I wouldn't rank it higher than 10 as of right now. I really struggle with liking Adidas products. This is only my only one Adidas product sneaker shoe in my top 10 and it's the slides. These are so beyond beat and dirty. These I wear these every single day. Honestly, I wear these more than my sneakers at this point. These have become an everyday shoe. I wear them everywhere. I wear them to the grocery store. I wear them on a date. Just kidding. But you wear these everywhere. If you don't have these, get a pair any colorway. The comfiest slide I've ever put on my feet. Okay, now we are moving on to number nine. One, two, three. All right, I put my pure Yeezy slide in number nine. These, I just got the pure color, and I can match these with anything, and they're the comfiest things. Like, if you don't have Yeezy slides, I'm telling you, get them right now. They're so comfy. Uh, so I put those at nine. I honestly, like, I put them over the patent ones because I'd wear them ten times more. I did my lightning force. I rave about this shoe. I love it. I'm here for the color. A lot of my shoes in my top 10 this year are very colorful. I always go for the colorful shoes. You know, a lot of people kind of are sleeping on these. I think they're going to keep going up. I literally could rave about this all day. Jordan 4s, the best. We say this all the time. Jordan 4s, yes. Jordan 3s, the absolute best in our opinion, but I absolutely love this shoe and I decided to own this. Ooh. Ellie doesn't really like this as much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're on my list. So I'll oh! But I have stuff to say about them, so okay. we'll see. Moving on to number eight. Three, two, one. Oh my god, I thought you put the same one. I did too. I almost put mummies in my list, but I didn't. So this is number eight. Um, Ellie's gonna go first. Mine is my Jordan 4 Oreos. I'm telling you, when I first got these shoes and they came out, I wore them every single day, no matter what I was wearing, I'd wear these shoes. One, it's a four. Two, I love the gray and then like the accent red. I would wear these more than I would wear cements, which is surprising, Jeez. but you have cements and you wear them a lot, but I, do. I feel like if I had cements, maybe I wouldn't wear these as much, but I wear these every single day and they came out this year, so they're definitely up there on my list. I did not add Oreos to my list, but I will say, I I love this shoe. I kind of was hesitant at first because I do have white cements. You know, they're so similar. The value, like the price of these has been going up. I feel like when they really? came out, yes. Oh, I had no idea. Um, I, I feel like when these cheap. came out, the price, yeah, it was like cheap. Very like cheap. no one really cared for them, but I slowly see them creeping they up. Were and slept I think on. it's because, again, it's so simple looking. It's just a clean shoe. I always say clean neutrals always do so good. Um, for my number eight, I did the Mummy SB Dunk. I was really excited about this release. I love all the detail on it. I think they did a really good job of executing like a mummy. Ooh. Glow in the dark is literally crazy. They just did an amazing job on the shoe and I had to add it in my top 10 list. Number seven. Three, two, one. 
I put these at number seven because personally, I don't think I would buy them for especially the prices they're at right now. If I got a pair of retail, I'd for sure have them, but it is a really cool shoe. Personally, I like the threes better, so I wouldn't put them all the way up there, but I had to put it on my list just because it's like an important shoe. I like the like purple accents on it, but I personally wouldn't pay the price that they're at right now. So that's why they're kind of like at the bottom of my list. My shoe is the Pat and Jordan one. You can ask Ellie. I I honestly kind of talked really badly and dirty about these shoes. She said, I think these are going to grow on you. And they did. I, I didn't like them at first. I really didn't see myself wearing them. But as it grows on me and, you know, I, I have been kind of into patent. I love them. So I really think I'm going to end up wanting to really try to get a pair of these. Now look at her ranking them look on Look at list. me now. Moving on to number six. Three, two, one. No way you put that oh, number Oh, I did. Okay, okay, go. All right. Also, this shoe, Lightning 4, when these were about to release, I was literally down to pay any amount to get them. I was obsessed with them. And then when they came out, I just, I never ended up getting them for some odd reason. The price was pretty high, so I just was like hesitant on it. I do say that they get really dirty easily. So that's like the only thing holding me back. This is her pair. So I don't personally have them, but the only thing holding me back is how dirty they get. But I do really like the colorway. Ask me like, before they came out, they probably would have been ranked number one for the year, but uh, they could lower it as. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. They, they didn't grow on me. Come on. I was so excited about these. I don't play basketball, right? So I know there's already going to be comments like. Give a basketball shoe. I definitely wanted to get my hands on a pair of LeBrons in my lifetime. These South Beaches go absolutely crazy. I was so excited. Um, I ended up finding these at a sneaker con pretty quickly. I mean, a lot of people on my size, they weren't going for too crazy either. When I told people I was looking for these at sneaker con, the looks I would get from my friends of like, I think the color palette's crazy. I love the pink laces on it. This is just such a fun and exciting shoe. You know, maybe if I start balling up one day, which probably won't happen. I'll make her ball up one day. Definitely had to add these to my list, and I wanted to switch it up. I didn't want to have all Jordan, so I had to put a basketball shoe on there. You know, I got to put a LeBron. I got to put something in there. Oh, yeah. Number shoe. Moving on to number five. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. You just had your little basketball shoe. This is now my basketball shoe, the Cool Gray 11. Obviously, there's a lot of history with the shoe. People are hyped about them still. I don't know, I love this shoe. It's actually really comfortable to play basketball and I've never played in an 11. And then I played with them the other day and I was like, oh my God, like these are pretty comfy. Probably my top three 11s, I would say. It's a basketball shoe yeah. you're supposed to wear. I mean, you know, people are sitting here commenting on people that are playing in their 11s. That's what they were made for. For my number five, I have the Bubblegum Patent Jordan 1. This said how much I'm really liking patent, you know, and I definitely want to add these to my collection. I love it. One thing, though, that I do kind of wish, I wish the navy color was black. I know on I camera know. it might come off as being black, but it is a navy color. It's, it's hard black. to match it because I don't want to put black with yeah. blue. So, so moving on to number four. Three, two, one. I love this shoe. When they were rumored to release, I was like, holy like these are so cool seeing them in person the glossy like icy color on them obviously when they came out the price not looking too hot a lot of them got backdoored so i don't even know how many pairs actually got released it was a hard shoe to find and also the price is crazy but i love them it's like literally a chicago colorway so you can't go wrong with them the icy color on it definitely had to be up there on my ranking i had to add a lot to this video you know or this list i'm sorry this is my favorite lot out of all of them you know obviously there was 50 so there's a lot to choose from but i definitely of course as like a hype answer everyone's always super big fans of lot one or 50 um i definitely favor lot one i think it's crazy it Reminds me of the Complex Con Off White Air Force. I absolutely love the shoe. I would love to own it one day. I can match it with so much. And I think Virgil did an amazing job with all his like off white dunks he's released. So I definitely would love. <sighs> Moving on to number three. Three, two, one. Oh my god, I forgot about those. Oh yeah. <sighs> Mine is not like this lot in specific. This is lot 14 of the Off-White Dunks, but I would pick lot one of the Off-White Dunks, but I do love all of them. I remember before they came out and seeing they're coming out with 50 colorways, everyone's like, 
what's going on like why are they doing this and now that they came out i honestly think that was probably the best thing they could have done i love honestly a lot of the colorways i had to pick one it would be lot one but i did get these for retail which is lot 14 and i really like them so mine is obviously the off-white lemonade air force one i love this shoe definitely like something i need to have in my collection it isn't a want at this point it is a need I feel, how did i forget about those i have always been super fan for all of the off-white air forces every single one that's released i would literally bend over backwards to have lemonades be going crazy i was obsessed with it from the start i know a lot of people didn't see themselves wanting to add to the collection for styling reasons wondering like how they would style that with outfits because it is kind of a crazy color but this shoe is absolutely beautiful they did so good and i absolutely need it Ooh. okay guys so we're getting so close to the number one shoe we have for 2021 okay Okay, so we're at number two, three, two, one. Well, obviously, um, we already talked about them. These are my bubblegum or atmosphere Jordan ones. I literally like this is my favorite shoe I probably own right now. This is for sure my favorite shoe right now. She got it for me for my birthday. Didn't even know if they were gonna release or not, but this is for sure top 10, top five, top three. I would almost put it at number one, but there's one shoe that just kind of tops it a little bit. I love the little pink accent, like little splashy little drip thing on the bottom. It's I supposed think that's to be a bubblegum. It's is supposed it? to be like he stepped in bubblegum. Yes. Oh my god. Idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I love the bottom of it. I think that's so cute. The little accent pink color, but you're like, oh, cool the shoe, and then you flip and then you the flip bottom, over. and you see the bubble gum, Captain Bubble Gum. Love that shoe. Mine is the Trophy Room Jordan One. I absolutely go crazy over this shoe. Every time I see it on someone's foot, I literally start drooling. Absolutely did a good job. The packaging, everything, every small detail about it. I like a lot of the details. I think they did a really good job with the box. And the problem is, this shoe goes for so 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 much. Again, in my size, like I think Ellie just said, the shoe's going for absolutely so much. It definitely. Definitely is something I'm working towards getting, but it's gonna be a bag to drop to have these. Okay, so we are now at number, the one. number one sneaker of 2021. Number one. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! Of course we picked this. Just to put this out there, we were raving about this shoe before it even came out. We were obsessed with it. Anyways, when these came out, didn't buy them because the price was at like 320 and I thought, you know what, maybe the price is gonna go down a little bit. They were kind of getting slept on a little bit. And then boom, in like two seconds, they were not slept on at that point. And the price started shooting up. I literally think my size right now is 580. Detail on the shoe is actually insane. For sure, best sneaker of the year. Mother, holy, I could talk about this shoe for days. My entire personality trait has just turned into an Alma 3. I think every time I'm online or make a video, I rant about this shoe and how beautiful they did this. I think me and Ellie kind of were already into Jordan 3s, but this absolutely was like chef's kiss, like the cherry on top for me to fall in love with Jordan 3s. The color palette alone is just absolutely beautiful. All the hidden details, the aglets say work harder on the back tab. On both sides of the shoes, it says two different things. On the right shoe, it says you have to get comfortable walking alone. All we have is each other. Quilted inside. I could rave and talk about this shoe all day long, but I know you guys have heard Heard enough about it through every single video of mine if you watch them yeah. story behind this is even better so he's on the story you can go look up history and stuff on Amaz. but number one sneaker of the year in my opinion the greatest I want five more pairs for when I run this down I'll throw another one on my foot but beautiful okay guys so that is the end of the video I hope you guys all enjoyed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video your homie Romy's peace now bye